what you just saw there is some footage of the new Riddler Mindbender, at least new as of last year. Uh, we haven't been since March of 2021. Uh, and since then, Mindbender has gone under a brand new refurbishment. They gave it new trains, uh, they did some track replacement, a uh, big old repaint. And so that's gonna be the big new thing for us to try out for our visit here to Six Flags Over Georgia. Well, I've actually never ridden it. Every time Ooh. I've ever been here, it's been closed. There's not really gonna be a comparison for me. Yeah. So I'm interested to hear what you think it's like now compared to how it was. Right, right, definitely. So, no, this should be a good day. We're gonna meet up with a couple people, ride some good rides. It's gonna be fun. Let's go into the park. I'll tell you what, Six Legs of Georgia makes one heck of a first impression. Oh yeah, I was even saying like this, like presentation-wise, might be like my favorite. Just because when you're driving up, you literally have to pass under Goliath. You just see roller coasters literally all around it you. It forces you to be excited. Like if you weren't excited to be here already, like yeah. you, you will be after you drive through here. And the walk from the parking lot, you pass Batman, Mindbender, Georgia Scorcher, Goliath, uh, Twisted Cyclone. Like that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Dude, look at all the Pantheon painting right here. Whoa, did they just move it to over Georgia? <laughs> no, they forgot the roller coaster, but they moved the theming. I was gonna say, yeah, look at those columns, wow. Actually, really nice looking sign up here. I, I do dig that. All right, first ride of the day, Georgia Scorcher. Sarah, you're not a big stand-up person, but you like this one. I don't really understand what it is, but I ride Green Lantern at like Great Adventure and I get my head whacked around like crazy. Oh, I love that ride. Not, of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. And then on this one, I don't have that happen at all. I, I really like this roller coaster. Tanner, you're saying it's one of your favorites, right? I, I like pretty much every stand up. Um, but this one, I really like this one. I like this one a lot. I don't know if my favorite is this one or Vortex of Carowinds. One of those two. Yeah. And you were saying some really nice things about um, Over Georgia, how they were uh, improving operations and like, yeah, like some things so that you noticed this morning. This has been pretty hit or miss in the past. Like sometimes you come here and it's like a complete dump. But uh, like today, I've had a really good visit. Like the ops for Georgia Sports were actually wearing headsets so they could talk to each other. And that's something I've only seen Universal do. And their dispatches are actually going pretty fast, like a lot faster because of that. That's awesome. Georgia Sports may have been a station weight, but here's one thing that is not a station weight: the food lines here. Primo's Pizza is literally out the door. Oh my god. Mobile order, people. Yes, mobile order. <laughs> Six Flags has a lot of questions. Just wondering what the answer is. The answer is that was a stupid joke. Yeah. <laughs> Riddler Mindbender. Here we go. This is now a five-car train versus it used to be an eight-car train previously, so they had to restructure the station. So uh, the back row is going to feel a little different on this one. All right, so we all just rode Riddler Mindbender. I don't know, I think I liked it better before the refurbishment. It, it was a lot, they took away a lot of the like three cars and it was a lot better. Yeah, the front of the station now just has like a gap for where, yeah. the, cause the train was longer. That yeah. is a little odd. <laughs> so. Yeah. The ride just doesn't go through the layout like it used to. It, it's still fine, but it's not like really good like it used to. All right, and, and Sarah, you compare no this comparison. to Shockwave. Yeah, like, I, I have no comparison for this ride because I never did it like pre-refurb, but I would definitely take Shockwave over this. That that just does more for me. Like you get like little pops of air time and I didn't feel like, like the layout was fine, like I enjoyed it, but it didn't feel like intense and that's usually what I associate with the short stuff. I even would prefer Scorpion at Busch Gardens Camp over this. Yeah, there's a lot of moments on this where it's just kind of like gliding around. The terrain usage is cool, <laughs> that but is true. Um, I, I mean, I still grayed out a little bit on the loops, but I definitely prefer Shockwave's layout overall. And also there's the, no crazy air time on this ride. There used to be. Yeah. yeah. I got like one moment where there was a little In the bit. back, going into the second loop, the little uh, drop there, there's like a little bit of jolt, but it's just not comparable to the, like... The positives in the loops are also weaker now, because there's yeah. just not the three cars anymore. Yeah. I mean, uh, on the plus side, it looks great. The repaint looks really nice. The trains are cool looking, I, I guess. Um, it is a little 
odd uh, how tall the, the seat headrests are. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're kind of in the way. Of the they're they're a similar to uh, New Revolution at yeah. Magic Mountain. Guys, it's time to do the best B&M invert in the world. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen this part of the queue filled. I hope this isn't long. I'm Guys. blaming you if it is. It's the good one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> As much crap as we give Tanner about being obsessed with Batman, it is really, really good. <laughs> I think he's doing the best Batman. That, yeah, that yeah. one it goes really fast. It, it makes my whole life. <laughs> like, no, he, it's it's more than making your life. Like this guy literally comes off the ride and he's laughing like he's possessed. <laughs> like, the, like, a, like, tribe, like, there's a tribe out there that, like, eats human flesh and they get this weird thing where they can't stop laughing, right? That's you. Is so, that, like, Gabby <laughs> after King like. Ka, or, like, or, like, I don't know, you, you said you thought you were drunk or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, we hit the brake run and I said it felt like I was drunk. Well, <laughs> it is, uh, crazy intense. I grayed out probably three times. Well, since food lines were really long, we decided to mobile order, uh, but the mobile order took a while, like, almost an hour and they didn't have too many options so we got chicken tenders and fries and the fries are really soggy not not good they're not great but it's okay it's food yeah i mean at this point i don't know it's whatever food is food. the chicken's fine though yeah um, chicken's good continuing the hot takes next up we have goliath which is tanner's favorite being a hyper yeah why because i like the way like the ninth car when he goes over the last hills and picks you up and slams you down and i really like the helix okay I mean, that's justifiable. This is like the most, in oh, and the tiny little speed hill at the end. I love that hill. That's pretty good too. Yeah. Once again, this ride continues to impress me. That is a fantastic layout. It is. I Best b and Best b and you know? I, I get it, layout. I get it. Yeah. I'd say the best BNM Hyper layouts. It's yeah. Intense. It is amazing. Like, like the other BNM Hypers are just fun. This one's intense. Yes. The, <laughs> I grayed out that entire downwards helix yeah. and couldn't see until the top of the next airtime hill. Yeah. You don't get that on other BNM Hypers. No, but the, the downfall of this ride and why I would I would betray Nitro and say this is, and that's a big deal if you know me at all, <laughs> and say that this is the best BNM Hyper on the planet. And I've ridden Shambhala, so don't even give me that. <laughs> If it rode like some of the ones like Mako or Shambhala or pretty much any Those other are ones, glass like, smooth and this one is not. <laughs> it is. It gives me a headache and I hate that because I want to ride the crap out of this. I want to ride this like I can ride Mako. Yes, like, over yeah. And over and over and over again. But like the layout, I mean, we were even saying the last little bunny hill there gives like ejector airtime. It's like a tiny little dip that you wouldn't see on B&Ms nowadays. Yeah, B&M wouldn't, like if this were B&M now, they would have done like a smooth little graceful turn into the brakes. They would never but make a layout like for some reason in 06, they're like, oh, let's have fun. And they just did like a little tiny speed hill right before <laughs> the, the brake run. And it's amazing. Here we go, twist the cyclone. My Woo! first ever RMC. Yeah, and we found Sloan. Ah, he found me. Yeah, where's your dog mask? Don't need it. That's right. Oh, look, at, look at this beauty. I know, right? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Thousands fleeing Dora. Man, Dora. she ain't exploring anything anymore. Huh? <laughs> All right, never mind, it broke. We're going to Dahlonega Mine Train. Yeah. Here we go. Sloan, what did you just say about this ride? So, number three arrow. It's amazing. Ooh. So, uh, Matterhorn and then the what? The one over Texas? Yeah, Matterhorn this? over Texas and then the guy that started at Six Flags. Like, he's like, well, we got to start one over Georgia. And so, let's throw basically near clone. And yeah, third arrow right here. It's amazing. And Sarah has really never fun. ridden it. I guess it somehow evaded me. You have to, you have to ride in row three. It's so rough. And All right, you two take row three. Okay. No, no, three okay. lift hills, but the end is what makes us ride. How was that arrow? That's like the best one ever. What the heck is that <laughs> ending? Is that fun? What is that? My, oh my back God. popped like five times. He caught this baby's head. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Good job. I got it. But yeah, I'm literally like, the whole ride, I'm like hysterical live because he's right. That third seat is very janky and it's yeah. very fun. 
and I'm like slamming into you every time. I'm oh, sorry. So we hit the end. I, I didn't know that was the magic seal. Yeah, if you right. ever come here, you have to ride in row three. It's like the jankiest row, and like you literally just crash side to side wow. the entire ride. <laughs> yeah, that it ending is so though. Fun, but the ending's the no best part. No idea what happened. If you've ridden Lost Coaster, it's like that, but with roughness. <laughs> People are like, what's the best ride at Six Flags Over Georgia? Joke's on you, it's Monster Mansion. Let's go! That ride is incredible. I just cannot believe that that exists at a Six Flags Park. I know, it doesn't make any it's sense. It's so good. I like, I love it. It literally rivals like Disney and Universal rides. It's so well done. Yeah, All I the characters. Know. Ride the chain. <laughs> Ooh, oh, the best chain. ride in the Six Flags chain, Tanner. I don't know if I go that far. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, um, X2? <laughs> no, he's like, um, Batman? <laughs> yeah, duh. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, uh, you just uh, I gotta commend Six Flags for upkeeping that ride. The fact that it's still here and that it is like in such great shape, like perfect. Everything in there works. Yes. Like that's actually a big deal. Like a lot it of is. even like Disney dark rides, you have stuff to go down, but mm -hmm. every animatronic works. Six Flags merchandise really is something else. This is like an angel poop emoji. This one's a chicken rainbow. Oh my. And along the last, we're finally ready to ride Twisted Cyclone. And it's only a station wave. Woo! Yay. Twisted Cyclone. Super powerful ride for its size. Uh, that thing is relentless. Oh, yep. Are you a chicken? <laughs> yeah. He's wearing the full hat. <laughs> yeah, this ride always continues to impress me. You know, it's only like 100 feet tall or something like that. But just the maneuvers that they fit into everything is very impressive. Yeah. Uh, the airtime, it's a great ride. It's not better than Iron Gwazi. Sorry, Tanner. I think it is. I think it's awesome that this is considered like a probably a mid to lower tier RMC. Like that's saying something awesome <coughs> about the company. Quasi. No, it's my turn. He's no, you know what? The... You know what? You get Tanner for saying that. You get the bull head. Okay. All right, we just closed down Batman the Ride. Four back-to-back -back rides, and I can't feel my legs at all. That, that's my number one. That's your number one. That's my number. One. Like I always say, I feel like Manchu is my favorite invert, but like this could give it a run for its money. Like, I know. Like, it's, it's this one too. Yeah, like the, it has to be this one, not any Batman. It yeah. has to be this one. Again, it's a cure for restless leg syndrome. It, it is, yeah. Like I have no feeling in my legs or arms or head. Pretty much. <laughs> it is so fast paced like, and it's, insane. It, it's, it's the best. And on the end seat too, like yeah, the whip is you ridiculous. Die, you die. One of the most intense roller coasters I've ever ridden. I agree. What even is I-305? All right, relax. <laughs> <laughs> Walking out of Six Flags Over Georgia is just so cool how Goliath just is all around you right here. Also want to point out something. So naturally, uh, during points of negative g-force, the spine for the track doesn't have to be as thick, but during the positives, it does. Well, right here with the road, they couldn't put a support there, so look how thick the track is right there. It's to compensate for uh, all that weight. So that is just crazy looking. All right, well that does it for our day here at Six Flags Over Georgia. Really fun time. This is like literally one of my favorite parts. Like every ride here is like a 10 out of 10, except for Mindbender, they kind of ruined that. But it was a 10 out of 10. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I mean like as far as Six Flags Parks goes, this is like right up there with like Magic Mountain over Texas. Wow. Okay. Cool. Like every ride here is really good. At least you will have a really good time. The B&M collection alone is yeah. what sets it, sets it apart. They don't have yes. a dumb B&M. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, yeah. And, and Sarah, you agree? Oh yeah, no, this is a great park, and I, I've definitely enjoyed my time today more than like some of my other visits. Yeah, it just. I agree. Yeah, definitely. for sure. It was a, a good lot of work today. to improve the guest experience, and I could tell that. Yeah. Yes. I've been coming six here over Georgia. Y'all doing well. Woo. I've been Keep coming going. here for years, and I, I saw a lot of improvements this year. Over good. Years. Good. Good to hear it. Love to see it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coast Cheers, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>